Hey everyone, it's me again, and uh, I have I posted a thing a while ago on a forum where I made a new hair clip type of thing, and I said in that posting that I would be making a version two with some improvements. This is the original one. You can see it's got the flat spring there, the leaf spring, and it's made of copper. This is the back. I did a cutout here because the original design didn't fit very well. My, my hair, as you can see, is kind of wonky. This doesn't want to cooperate. Those people with those nice, soft, silky, straight hair, all this stuff ever works. Mine doesn't do that. It's kind of weird. But so I made this out of a copper pipe. So I'm going to do kind of a how-to video for this. And so this is what you this is what you should, in theory, end up with. The version two, I'm going to use this coil spring out of this mouse trap. I'm going to make it a little bit thinner and a little more elegant. It's not going to be so clunky and industrial type. So this is these are the things you will need to make your very own copper hair clip. You will need two pieces of copper pipe. This one is approximately six inches long. You want to have it long enough so that with your bends, it will be the size you need. So I'm going to make this. This is going to be my first piece of pipe. And you will need another piece of pipe approximately, well not this, I'm going to cut this pipe of course, but you will need another piece of pipe approximately this long. Well not, not that long, but this long. So two pieces of pipe, copper pipe, this is half inch pipe, about the same length. A set of tin snips, if you have them, if not you can use a heavy duty scissors that you don't really care about. A, of course a mouse trap for this newer version. You will need two pairs of needle nose pliers or regular pliers if you have, but you'll need something to hold the copper. You will need a hacksaw. This is a coping saw, but you'll need a hacksaw or some sort of metal saw to cut the initial cut. Or if you have one of the next, if you have one of these, a Dremel tool with the grinding wheel, it makes your life so much easier. And you will also need if you use if you use a Dremel, you will need hearing protection and a breathing mask because you know copper product they, this stuff just goes everywhere so that's what you'll need for that you will also need to make it shiny you will need some sandpaper 150 grit and some polish and if you use the dremel tool you'll need the buffing the buffing attachments if you use if you do if you don't have a dremel you have to use by hand with the, with the, with the cloth and the buffing compound and you also need a small nail. This is not a nail, but it's, you'll need a small, like a, just a small little nail for your pivot point. And you also need your initial design. I'm going to make this one, I'm going to cheat and draw it on the device itself because I'm lazy that way. So without further ado, I will get my little piece set up here and start cutting. Another thing you'll need is you'll also need a vise or something to hold your pipe in place while you're cutting it because it's going to want to go all over the room and it's not going to be any fun to try and chase it around. I know from personal experience it's just no fun at all. It's a reasonable definition of no fun at all. So first I have to get my thing adjusted, put in place. Yeah, my lighting is universally horrible. I don't know how. People, they must have like some of those 500 watt halogen work lights to get the kind of videos that they get. Okay, so I have to put it that way. And adjust, adjust, and adjust. Okay, I'm going to take my pipe and put it in the vise. I'm going to move the camera so I can actually so you can actually see it. I'm go. I'm going to go to my breathing mask, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm going to use one of these. You get them, they're 10, they're 10 for a dollar at Dollar Trees. You can get other ones somewhere else, but these are just the cheapies. So I'm going to stick this on. They're not perfect, but it beats breathing in copper fumes. Get my little pipe. I'm going to put it in the vise. Switch cameras here. 
Okay, I'm going to switch. 